This is now my fourth Art Snacks unboxing video. Jeez, what is going on, what is going on here? What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am bringing you the July Art Snacks box. I love getting the Art Snacks subscription box. I think it's a good way to be introduced to new supplies. Just get some fun shit in the mail. <laughs> if you don't know what Art Snacks is, it is essentially a monthly subscription. For 20 bucks a month, you get a awesome little mystery box in the mail full of art supplies. I will put the links to the previous three boxes in the description box below in case you wanna check those out. Otherwise, let's take a look at what is inside this month's box. Let's bust this baby open. Here is a look at the inside of our box this month. First up, the Art Snacks sticker. Next up, we've got a Do It On Yupo. It looks like it's watercolor paper. It doesn't have like the tooth of what you would think uh, or expect this to have like usual watercolor paper. It's very, very smooth. I love the size of this. This is so cute. It's so cute. Next up, we have a Brush cleaner, the master's brush cleaner used with water. I actually use a brush cleaner. I don't know if it's the same brand. I'll need to check that out. These are great for if you're working with like oil paints um, and really pulls a lot of pigment out of your brushes, even like really haggard ones. I like the size of this. It's like a little travel size. This is definitely something that I would chuck into my bag of stuff and use. Next we have our snack. Looks like it's Smarties this month. I mean, these Art Snacks boxes are just like really taking me back with some of these candy choices. So next we have our bundle of tissue paper that we uh, love so much. <laughs> the first thing that went flying out of the box, it looks like it's actually a paintbrush, which is pretty cool. Other than a water brush, I haven't gotten a paintbrush out of Art Snacks yet. So this is pretty cool, kind of a new item. It's a size six round brush from Princeton Elite, which is great. I do use Princeton brushes every now and then. I'm assuming these are probably synthetic bristles that it's for watercolor. So that pairs well with the mini watercolor paper we got as well. Brushes are always a good thing because I destroy the hell out of them. Next, looks like we have a QOR watercolor. So it's a tube of watercolor paint, a little small 11 milliliter tube of it. The color that I got is indigo. I don't use a lot of tube watercolors. I use tube gouache, obviously, if I'm doing any sort of gouache illustrations, but typically I don't use tube watercolors. I like using like a travel pan or a travel set. This is a color that I would use in my journals for sure. So. If I like this, this is definitely something that I would be using. Uh, the last item that is in this month's box looks like it's a pen of some sort. Pentel Arts Hybrid Technica and a 0.4 millimeter tip. Looks like it's a black gel pen of some sort, but it's got a really nice fine tip on it. Obviously, as a mixed media art journaler person, I've got a shitload of pens. Any new pen is a good thing in my book. Interesting box this month. Uh, I don't feel like I don't really need to look at the menu. I mean, I could quickly look. So this watercolor, Q-O-R, but it is pronounced core, is actually made by Golden Brand. So apparently it's supposed to be really bright, super pigmented, and it's made by Golden. You know, I love me some Golden. I have newfound faith in this. Not that I lost it before, but. So a very interesting batch of supplies for this month. Here is a quick recap of everything that was included in the July Art Snacks box. Very excited to play around here. Let's go ahead and jump into an art journal and see how some of these supplies do. So I decided to jump right in using that Yupo watercolor paper as well as the Core watercolor paint by Golden, which by the way, according to the menu, retails for $15.79 for that tiny little tube. Um, but the price is probably justified because this paint, the pigment is absolutely stunning. And I've never described watercolor paint uh, with that word before, but it really is very pigmented and just absolutely beautiful. And I don't know if I got lucky just because I got that gorgeous indigo color or what, but it was a fun medium to work with for sure. 
Um, considering the fact that there really weren't a lot of art supplies in this particular box, I did want to test out the brush cleaner as well, which you see me using with that Princeton brush. Um, I do use the Masters brush cleaner at home, and when I'm done with it, I usually wipe it dry with a little paper towel, which you see me doing there. Um, coming back to the watercolor paper, it dried really nicely. It was a bit too smooth for that Pentel pen there, but the pen worked great in my actual journal when I was on some dry surfaces. It was definitely pigmented, and it is also light fast and water soluble, so it's definitely something that I would be using in the future. I liked the tip a lot on that as well. Overall, my favorite item that came in the box was that core watercolor paint. I don't know if I would actually go out and buy that myself, but it was a nice little treat to find in the Art Snacks box. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me for another Art Snacks unboxing video. Stay tuned for next month as I'm gonna continue to do these because I really enjoy doing them and getting kick-ass art supplies in the mail. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more art stuff and good times and give this video a like, of course, if you liked it. And I will see you guys sometime next week. See you later. Bye.